I like to stay wide and I don't, I'm not going down this way, but I'm going into my left side and then I'm clearing my left side and I'm bringing this whole right side right. into your cheek. It's just getting it synced up so the whole team is working together. Here. Left side, the right side, the hands on, the whole deal. What's another drill or feel that you use to get, because I still feel like I'm swinging, making my downswing, well, I'm not fully pressured on this side yet. Like I still feel like I'm starting, like I'm a little too deep here. Uh, like I would like to be basically totally there before I'm really giving I don't because I don't feel totally stabilized on this side like I want right. to that could just not not having the pacing proper yet so it's just okay. putting the reps in at a slow pace and build it up yeah so we can feel what it, and that's all I say just let your senses be alive of what it feels like to be patient and come down and get the feeling of I mean to my eye look really good that, yeah the last one yeah yeah right so it's getting it just synced up to where everything's gliding through and you felt like you weren't quite there yet mm -hmm. i couldn't tell but you felt it right so, right so get after the feel of it and it might be more patient here it might be a little quicker here whatever it is tap into what it feels like to get it synced up and then just keep doing it and then you you see the results you go man that's it that's what i'm after that's the feeling i'm after right right, right. and just do it, do it. Have you ever had a week, I hear about this sometimes, have you ever have a week when you were playing in a golf tournament where you were leading or in the hunt or winning or something like that, um, but your, your golf swing felt terrible all week? Sure. Tell me, tell me about, about that, because to an amateur's mind, you would think that to win, everything's got to be like, you're like, oh man, I'm just, I'm just, it's, I, it's just on today, I, you know? I watched. Toro Tanaguchi from Japan last Monday in, in Hawaii qualifying. He hit terrible. Okay. Just 69 and 35 so, mile an hour wind. So tell tell me about his round. How do you how do you hit it terrible in bad wind and still shoot 69? He he putted fantastic. Okay. Short game was very good. Mm -hmm. Driver was yeah. It was awful. Yeah. And even he hit and he's like whoa, embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> right. He said I was hitting 110 yards past him. He was shrugging all his way he, to, he, to, he, to yeah, the qualifying. Know. Yeah. But the, yeah. You know, one hole it's in dead into a left to right 35 mile an hour wind, and he hits three wood off the tee. And I'm looking at him with three wood. It, this was our 17th hole. Yeah. And he's two under, and he's hitting three wood. I'm like, what the heck's this guy doing? Yeah, he needs all the distance he, he can get. Yeah, 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 right. So he hits three wood, and he hits it good, and barely gets to the fairway. So now he's got this shot over water to a front elevated pin, maybe a hundred and maybe 175 yards. Not okay. easy, right? So he hits this just this fantastic iron shot uh -huh. underneath the hole 20 feet and rolls it in for birdie. I'm like, like wow, it was really <laughs> yeah. cool. So he yeah. was doing. He, was, he wasn't doing everything well, but he was doing enough things, mostly putting mm -hmm. and hitting, hitting good iron shots at the right time mm -hmm. to where he shot 69. I shot 77. Yeah. It looked like I shot 69. <laughs> it seems like you can still score, play bad and still score, but, but there's the, the double crosses and the extremely bad like snap hooks or, or like slices off the property. Those are the, going to be the things that really, yeah. really, really cost you. Those so you, you got to want to get, so that's what we're talking about today. You think that really in getting your, your misses to go from here to there, that's in training your sequence like we've been talking yeah, about? Yeah, train the sequence um, and, and knowing, knowing how to kind of geek it around the golf course. Right. And I used to get a lot of crap for it when I was playing by some players, which totally respect because I was. I was geeking it around the golf course right. but I was winning golf tournaments. Right. You know, sure on a lower level, right, mini tour stuff, but like in their mind they would think like, my golf swing's way better than this guy, my you know And I tell them yeah. you guys be I'm kicking my longer, I'm, I'm yeah, right. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, what, what, what do I say? Right. I'm kinda just kinda clanking it around, but I was doing what Toro was doing. I was making putts, I was mm -hmm. taking advantage of holes. And I'd go through just stretches of that, you know, four or five holes where I'd hit it not so good. Mm -hmm. But some of those four or five hole stretches, I'd played two under. Oh, okay. So it wasn't like I was scoring poorly. I just wasn't hitting it that good. Right. So I just knew how to keep it in play and keep it yeah. in front of me. 
where I wasn't hitting it in too many pools and barbecues. I was still <laughs> right and right. That makes that that'll ruin any golf trip when you just can't find your ball. So let um okay, what shot do you think is the most difficult for people to to stay patient as far as you talk about in the transition not getting so fast from the top and trying to get all your speed right away. What shot do you think people struggle with that the most? Like what what club or I mean probably driver. We, yeah, so let's sure. let's get that's what I thought. So let's get yeah. driver out. Um do you have a new driver? I do. Yeah. This is cool. What is this? Uh, Taylor made? Yeah, M5. I'm shocked at what I got out of this thing going from my Callaway. Oh, like doing your fitting? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I was hit. This is one of my students uh, had a nine degree. Uh -huh. He was hitting it pretty high as a 15 year old. It's just really, really good. Yeah. Uh, so I contacted. Uh, the TaylorMade. Oh, so you were hitting his. I was hitting. I was hitting his. Yeah, and you were like, oh, this is going too yeah. high. Yeah. So I was able to get him an eight degree with the slightly stiffer shaft. So I took his nine degree uh -huh. with this Tensi shaft X sixty gram. Is that the shaft that he had in it? This was his. Yeah, this oh, okay. shaft he had in it. Yeah. With the nine degree. Mm -hmm. So I got him an eight degree with a stronger shaft, and I was hitting his nine degree with this shaft. And I played over at Journey with my driver versus his driver, and I shot 63 on his driver and 69 with my driver. Yeah. Just seeing the difference of flight with his driver, mm -hmm. but it was too high. Okay. So I got an eight degree head and put it in his shaft, and I'm like, whoa. The combo is really good. Oh, yeah. This is what you had in, in uh, Hawaii? That's what I had in Hawaii. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really good. So with driver, when when the transition is is even more important, and you have to be even more like slow. How people always ask, well, how is driver different, or or is it at all, or what do you have to think about extra? Well, we have we have more shaft that has to get out in front of us. So if I get this thing in here, if my hands get too fast, I get deep in here, mm -hmm. and I can't get all of this shaft out here and square it up unless I'm kind of trying to get it out there okay right so when I like to stay wide and here's a here's how I've explained it to some of my students here, step, step here so we can see okay. it uh -huh. here, here, step here. Go okay. Over here okay I'll call it I'll, I've been calling it the the roundhouse slap okay okay yeah so so if I'm coming into you mm -hmm. and and I want to I want to hit you right upside the cheek mm -hmm. and if I don't you're gonna come after me and whoop my ass so you have to be a finishing move here it's got a finishing move. <laughs> right so I like to stay wide uh -huh. and I like to come into you and I don't I'm not going down this way but I'm going into my left side and then I'm clearing my left side and I'm bringing this whole right side right. into your cheek when you just have the intention of doing that stuff's just going to happen naturally yeah. yeah there's some great videos i think from like poland or somewhere where they have slapping contests you know they stand at a table and try to knock each other off the table yeah so I so, so yeah so you you don't get tight and then try to spring it on no, somebody you I'm, yeah because this whole right side has value uh -huh. so if i'm coming in here tight yeah then i'm coming in here with a lot of speed here uh -huh. right but if i'm coming in wide and i'm i'm clear in this mm -hmm. side and I'm bringing this whole there's a lot of leverage that this hand is being led by yeah to get you and I can knock your head off as long as I'm strong here yeah and get you square on the cheek yeah I'm hitting you pretty hard I'm slapping you pretty hard yeah. if I'm coming in here with these right. hands. that's one of the things I saw because I think people misunderstand this but when I went to when I went to my swing in Phoenix it's the thing that sensors all over your body right and the thing, one of the main things I saw is the, the angle between here and here in pros. Actually, here it gets a little wider and then it stays quite wide. Right. And with, with bad players, it does all different kinds of things. Like sometimes people do, they do that as well. But, but a lot of times you see them go like real tight and then fling it or, or they, they extend it first. But the pros, it's like a very generally widening thing uh, gradually. Right. So let's see you hit one where you really like almost exaggerate that super wideness we'll, we'll slap a lot of the training with the driver to get it synced up to have that feel okay so you can hit a, so you'll hit little little small ones, the small ones. all right so hit a Just small one for us and i'm feeling it off of my body i'll let this go a little it'll come down and like uh who was it Alaska yeah says he feels a little bit of this right hand going like this mm -hmm. similar yep 
through impact it's pretty strong but then it is going you know going that way so a lot of drives to, to work it is and I just feel it leveraged by my body I stay wide this stays here coming down I'm square and it feels like I go through this way <clears throat> so I'll go through I'll come down with the large bucket you know 90 balls with just my driver uh -huh. and I'll sink it up here here I'll hit you know about 10 like that then I let these wrists go a little get that right arm to go a little and I'll come back down and I'll feel the same feeling as if I was just doing this way. So the first 10 you hit is is like almost like Y shots where you just you're just keeping that Y that your yep. arms and club make. Yep. And there's almost no wrist at all. Almost no wrist. It'll go a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. It'll feel no, nothing active. Yeah. It's very rigid. I'm yeah. just working off my pivot off uh -huh. my body. And then you'll you'll kind of add a little bit a little to that. Just a little arm to get it up the plane a little more. It'll come down and feel like it's in that same spot. And I go up a little more, it'll come down and feel like it's in that same spot. And I go all the way up. So I hit, you know, 10 or 15 at each, let's say there's four or five levels. So let's do this now because people will want to see it's kind of spelled out. So let's go level one, two, three, four, and, and everybody can, can know that this would be about 10 balls of each one of these. Yeah. So let's, let's, say, let's see level one. And before you hit this ball, Eric, I'll ask you, so like, let's, let's say you've been out at a tournament or, uh, or you have a tournament coming up and for whatever reason you just have no confidence in your driver and you come out to the range and you're like okay i want to start building some confidence in my driver and start like hitting it on the button again is this something you'll do to kind of yeah. get that back yep. okay yep. kind of with all the clubs if things are just out of sync and a little weird i'll just bring it down and start with little pitch shots okay yeah so this would be level one here yeah, real deliberate in the transition. Yeah, real stiff. Not much wrist at all. It's stiff and nasty. Very stiff. It's just, you know, there's yeah. no... Yeah. Alright. So this is level two, so, so, so what's different about this one? I'll just go up a little bit further. Oh, so but just I a little further? slow. Okay. Okay, I go very slow and I'll stop it a lot of times. Just to sense where things are. It's, I'm not dragging it through mental at all. Right, right. Not cognitive, just to feel. Yeah, that's a great one. Level three is just as deliberate, just as slow, just a little, a little. The arc is bigger. Yeah. On each side. Yeah. Okay. Great shot. And then it's four, four, a full swing shot. So, so you've hit like 10, 20, 30 of those kind of shots. And four, four will be um, kind of full swing, but still slowish. Okay. And probably still stop at the top. Okay. And then maybe five will be the full deal. Wow, great shot. Okay, so here's the full deal. It sounded great. I never saw it. It sounded yeah, great. It Good. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to be doing a couple of different videos today, so you'll see a lot more of Eric here on the channel if you click the subscribe button. So make sure to click the subscribe button. Also, we have a lot of really cool live things coming up on the channel, things that will be broadcast live, but a lot of times I'll just make them unlisted later. So uh, the only way you're going to get to see them is if you click the little bell that uh, will give you uh, post notifications and let you know like okay be better golf is on live so like guys like eric or when i go to the pga show or, or do some of these other things you'll be able to uh, participate in the channel you can find out more about eric on your uh, first thing is on your instagram hi eric which yeah. you're trying to do more often I still suck <laughs> right. stuff, but, yeah. but it's a good way He'll, he will respond to the messages on yeah. on instagram so it's easy e golf 60 right right easy e golf 60 uh, on Instagram, I'll put a little link to it there below. And also, we're thinking about doing a Be Better Golf School out here in Murrieta with Eric. I think it'd be fun to get a small group, very small group of guys together and really work on uh, hitting it on the button more often and uh, boiling things down, simplifying things uh, to, into an on the course kind of way. If you're interested in that in March, let me know. Contact BeBetterGolf at gmail.com and based on the interest of that, we'll try to organize that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Thanks, Eric. Cool. Yep. Fun.